Uh, Rita, just uh, some, a slightly different topic. Our good old friend Lydia Thorpe, the Indigenous activist who says we're all living on stolen land. Uh, well, she got a comeuppance this week, Rita. <laughs> well, yes, she was mouthing off again, as she does. I mean, she makes Sarah Hansen Young look like some political genius who's uh, full of the rationality <laughs> and, and sense. And uh, let's have a look at what Lydia had to say. I do hope the Attorney General, given he probably didn't read the Royal Commission recommendations, hopefully he listens to these experts. Hopefully they're white. And, you know... and let's uh, hear now from the Northern Territory Attorney General. Uh, it's not a bloke and it's not a white person. It's this impressive lady. So here's a few pointers for Senator Thorpe and any other Southern politician who feels like using the Northern Territory as a punching bag for their own political point scoring. One, get your facts straight. The Northern Territory Attorney General is not a white man. I am an Aboriginal woman with ancestral lands and connections in the Groot Island Archipelago and the Numbua East Arnhem regions of the Northern Territory. That's hilarious, Rita. <laughs> too funny, too oh, funny. Oh, she kept going. She didn't stop there. She yeah. kept going. She gave Lydia a nice working over, uh, called her out for some of her appearances in remote communities, how she goes there, uh, unprepared, looking like a tourist, and uh, really hasn't done her homework. So that was, I uh, thought, a brilliant takedown. But there's a re Rita, there's a real story there behind the fact that the... Uh, Indigenous activists who come from the main cities uh, who, you know, you can argue, I won't even go down the path of uh, the, the degree of uh, DNA that requires one to be uh, label oneself as uh, Indigenous, whatever, I don't care. But these Indigenous activists from the inner cities compared to the people out in remote and rural Australia like Jacinta Price and the, the Northern Territory lady there who are actually on the ground doing the work. There's a huge difference between the posturing, isn't there, of these activists and the real hard work that is done by people on the ground. Well, of course, they care about typically the real issues that impact the lives of people in remote communities. And they've got some unique challenges that a lot of us in the cities don't. Uh, uh, and they focus on those real issues, whether it's crime, whether it's uh, schooling, uh, school attendance, neglect, uh, making sure that there's uh, sufficient resources and sufficient policing those sort of things that actually make a difference to the standard of living of people in those communities as opposed to posturing about Australia Day and changing the flag and changing the anthem and all exactly. these uh, issues the activists obsess about around the year.